awesome video for you guys because we're about to bring up Miss Libby Tanner. Give it up for, for her. So you guys. But first, we're gonna... But first, we're gonna introduce her with this great video made by Miss Lauren Nadig from Jacksonville, Florida. Give it up for Miss Libby Tanner. Miss Westmore is a forensic psychologist. And I'm trying to deal with all the types. She knows we need to have this shit together. <laughs> To the river's I've got to try, try, try. It's going to be a people trying to help Frankie. They have all failed. Yes, I know it's good. Woo! When you do realise that falsely accusing the precious person in that case for his soul's consequences, you know. something else, not for what we're talking Is everybody awake? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are awake, right? You guys are awake. Right? Yes, we're a little bit jet lagged, so you can just like, scream at me and slap me, what do you need to do? <laughs> so I think we have our, uh, our questionnaires ready on this side. Um, do we have a mic for them? I'll come over there with my mic, guys. No, no, Libby, you stay over there. Yeah. All right, so what's your name and what's your question? I'm Misty from New York, and my question is, what I was wondering, I'm a great fan. I am the most from New York. Yeah, I'm a great fan. 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 I'm a great Wow, I have played a gay character before. And, uh, <laughs> well, like, you know, off screen, on screen, I don't know. Where it went way back to, I go back to Pacific Drive, and this was asked of me all the time, my goodness, what a, 
what is that like, you know, kissing a, a woman on screen? And, and I've never been interviewed. And she was Zoe Marshall, was her name, on Pacific Drive in Queensland. And I remember saying to the um, journalists all the time, well, you just fall in love with somebody, and it's special, but I don't think it really matters if it's a, if it's a boy or a girl. And that was my kind of go-to line back then. And so by the time it came around to Wentworth, nobody really asked me anymore, so I could tell that we'd really, you know, progressed since then. Oh, yeah. And I guess... Um, yeah, exactly. And, and the question, you know, what is it like working? Yeah. Well, it's the same feeling, you know, you, you, you're learning your lines, and just as long as you know your lines and you can trust the actor that you're with, you can just fall into it, you know, so. I'm not sure, but I'm not dead yet, so. We just did that special for her because she's from Buffalo. Now we're gonna go over. Uh, so right here, next question over here on the side. Uh, Libby, they're gonna ask you right over here. Hi Libby. Um, I was just wondering, what was your least favorite and favorite scene to film throughout your series? Oh, my favorite. I'd go, my favorite was probably one of the first things I, I did with Pamela Ray. And because she's so the most amazing energy you walk on stage on set and she just emanates this incredible um, just this incredible sort of energy and you look in the, into her eyes and she gives you a bit of a wink but what, the one I'm thinking of is my first scene she's so tall and um, and and I'm so not and I'm standing next to her and she said, okay, Lib, you're ready, we're gonna, we're gonna take this, we're, we're gonna walk down the corridor and the camera's in front of us and we had to keep up with it. And I had to get a bit ballsy because she's the governor as well and she's so tall. I, I look back at the scene and I'm walking with her and I'm like quick stepping up. <laughs> she's just like, you know, doing a strike and I'm basically bolting after her and I get down to the end and I had to sort of, you know, give it to her. And, um, yeah, I think that was one of my favourite scenes because I just, I look back at it now and I look like a little kindergarten <laughs> girl. I mean, it worked and she's so beautiful to work with. And I don't really think there's a, there's a terrible scene. When you say my least favourite scene, I guess um, maybe ones that um, I just took too, uh, maybe I don't, took too long to think about, you know. And usually I don't think too much about doing it. I just like, just see what happens when they call action. Yeah. But sometimes you do get caught out and you've got to get emotional in that show. It was very intense, wasn't it? <laughs> poor, poor Bridget. <laughs> oh, those tears, you know, you get home and you get frost. <laughs> Let's go back and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next question. Hi. I've always wondered what Wentworth actresses or cast think about the now defunct American prison show Orange is the New Black. <laughs> Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> I don't know, I think, um, I did see a little bit of it. I've seen a little bit of Wentworth too, and I think, uh, I, I guess Wentworth is, is perhaps a little grittier. Um, They've got the genre kind of, they've got two genres going on. There's, um, there's a bit of comedy in the soap, and, and yeah, it's, it's a different show. It's a really different... <laughs> I said too much. I think teal is the new orange, right? Yeah. if I didn't shoot Bridget. Um, Bridget, isn't she gorgeous? Kate Atkinson is my wife. On my age, I kind of you know, like it, like it. She's absolutely beautiful, Kate Atkinson. 
and I really enjoyed working with her. And she has this lovely, quirky kind of idiosyncratic way about her, this nervous kind of thing that is, is really wacky. And she's, um, <laughs> she's gorgeous. And she's, What's that? Yeah, oh, you, you, are as well. bit, you can be a little bit crazy to do it. What are you doing, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> Where was that makeup artist this morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, right. No, four years ago. Where's the spunk bus gone? See, in Australia, we, we call it the spunk bus. Yeah, the spunk bus. Yeah. It's our makeup bus. You go in there. <laughs> have your coffee, you close your eyes. That's the spunk bus, you come out there. Okay. It sounds way cooler than makeup trailer <laughs> to the left. Extra crafty. You guys have fun names for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next up for the spunk bus. <laughs> Hi, Libby. Uh, my question is, what was like the turning point for, do you think, for Bridget and for Frankie that made her finally give her a chance and then fall in love with her? <laughs> Paint me a picture. <laughs> and she bloody well turned up at the two. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. So it was that scene, yeah, they paint me a picture and she says, um, I think it's when Frankie moves over to Bridget and leans across her and says, you're getting nervous, aren't you? And she's going, I'm twitching. <laughs> Are you going to leave me twitching or what? <laughs> that was the scene that they found <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Hi, uh, Lily. My question is, you auditioned at the beginning of the series, and what was the role for? And you wish you had gotten it as opposed to Bridget? What? <laughs> How did you know I auditioned this? <laughs> I, look, I think most of us, look, I can tell you, there was a lot of us that did audition for, for B. For B. Oh, oh. Nice. It got kind of close. <laughs> Very interesting, but um, of course, you know, um, with the flavour and the chemistry of everybody, and Dan, there was no one like Danielle to play the part. She is absolutely. Um, yeah, and then there was just Bridget, and I had no idea what Bridget was. <laughs> I auditioned with um, uh, uh, Nick, and then we got on set, and she said, oh, I'll see you in the green room. I said, oh. Right. <laughs> Sounds like a got the <laughs> Not too bad. Next question. Hi. We fucking love you. <laughs> I just love it. That's the way Tammy Mackerel introduces herself to people. Hello, I fucking love you. You are. We got into an Uber yesterday. And she looked straight at the, the guy and said, I'm sorry, you smell nice and you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> and my daughter's like, I said, I told you I'm not mad, Edie, I told you. <laughs> I have a request. Uh, when you uh, have this thing you do with your eyebrows, the oh, way, yeah. <laughs> could you do that for us today? We love it. Did you guys see it? Everybody see it? No? I, think, I think the front of the room needs space in our Did you learn anything new about yourself when you were? I'm always learning 
about ourselves, aren't we? <laughs> As we grow up. Um, I think, yeah, there, there was a strength that I did learn within, and I think that comes with um, with every character that you play, but also with a show like Wentworth. It's very intense to, to go in and, and have your day filled with such extreme um, uh, um, situations and emotional responses. So there was a part where you, you can either get exhausted and, and go into a strange dark place, but you, you have to protect yourself. And so I learned how to do that, pretty much. It's just putting a lovely, you know, golden kind of barrier around who Libby is to get home and, and um, feed the kids. <laughs> and scrape the big things off the hallway wall, you know. Like, uh, there were kids to get on, you have a life to get on with, so you have to just, yeah, I don't know how to answer that, but I think just, just leave it at the, at the set, you know what I mean. And thank you. And if anybody else has a question for Libby, if you want, you guys can start uh, lining up over there by the guys in the red shirts. It looks like we will have some time for some extra questions, so if anybody else figured one out while we were going, feel free. Uh, and don't worry about not being selected later. I would you know, encourage you guys to come up. Uh, next question already down here. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi, my name is Ruth. I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Hello, Ruth. Can't wait to go to Canada. Pardon? I can't wait to go to Canada. I would be happy to show you around. <laughs> My question is, you played so many different characters in so many different shows. How do you know what your real name is when you're at places? <laughs> Everyone knows who I am. <laughs> How do you know who, who you are? <laughs> How do you dress? <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> if my mum was still alive, she'd say, oh, you're always having a tell you what. I think your mates do that for you. They ground you and they kind of like, you know, Jesus, Tanner, you know, get over yourself. But yeah, just like hanging out with um, some really good friends and um, I have a new 18-year-old who just like, poor mum, please. <laughs> Bring me back down to work. I think going on any set though, you just um, you just throw yourself into it. And that's the, the nervy thing about acting is with the way I approach it is I don't know what I'm going to do. And I guess that's the same in life. I don't really know what I'm going to say now or what I'm going to do when I get out there. So it's just being in the moment, being in the present and, and trusting it, you know, because we're all going to be dead in a minute. So just, <laughs> just allow ourselves Hi, uh, I'm Liz from Ohio. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, is it hard to <laughs> is it hard to like differentiate the characters from the actresses? Like, for example, Pamela Rigg, I met her last year in Jersey, and she was just so friendly and bubbly, and I know you said as an actress she's intimidating, so is it hard to like... No, 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 she's not seriously? intimidating. The, the governor was intimidating. Yeah, but right? is it... And she is looking at you like that, and she's clearing her dents. Lining up And before the tape, I remember, you know, with my hand on the back of the chair, reading it. You know, get into her uh, over the desk and she. Yeah. 
tops are everywhere. I'm not going in there. I wanted to see what it was going to be like in there too. Me too. And, um, and, and I had no idea what I would have, what would I have been like, do you think? I got asked. Who would I have hung out with? I think I would have had more of a badass uh, way about me to get through to survive. You know? um, who would I have hung out with? Cats. Cats. Yeah. Imagine being top dog in there with a bit of humanity. Does it work? Sorry. Sure, your mum is fine. Take a deep breath. She loves it. Look at all the saints coming back into it. What a V8. Anyway, I'm not dead yet, and it's still going. <laughs> We think you're dead. You might not even really be dead. <laughs> as long as we don't see you. I'm looking into the sunset with a hot girl and a hot cat. <laughs> Next question. We're the only happy story on there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justine. <laughs> My friend Christy absolutely loves you. Can you just say garage for her? <laughs> Garage. <laughs> and she's going, is it garage or garage? And going, oh god, you've said that many times in a dollar, I don't know. Garage. <laughs> don't you want me to say James Materi? No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I thought I was going to be asked that one. Can you please say Jodie Spateri? <laughs> and I went home a month ago watching Jodie Spateri with Survivor, and I'm like, Jodie Spateri! <laughs> Don't get off Jerry's material. <laughs> she won Australian Survivor. Yeah. 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 So, um, garage. Get off a bit of a tangent there. It's the best question of the day so far. <laughs> Next question. You join the dogs. What word would you like to hear? Of music in Get a category. Okay. <laughs> you want to go all sides? Yeah. 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 Yesterday was fantastic. Was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before. I got to see, um, I think there were four of us from All Saints walking down the Santa Monica and going, hey, hey, it was 17, baby, how are you? How are you, Nursey? And how fantastic, 20 years on, we actually sat in a glass of wine at the end of the day and said, we could actually bring these characters back here. Yeah. That's a repeat of All Saints and the Nursey. And all saints. Uh, I, do you want me to do a Charlotte thing? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's backstage. Oh, she'll tell you all okay, that. Was, yeah. How amazing to be working with Tam and Celia again. Look, they, they were all hilarious, but I think working on. All Saints, it was really complicated because there was 20 people in a scene at the same time and three cameras simultaneously. And when we got to a nursing station scene, it, we all got in trouble like naughty little kids because they couldn't stop talking because it took so long to shoot a scene. By the end of it, we were just all um, yeah, fits of giggles and like red face giggles, like really couldn't stop giggling, got into trouble by Georgie Parker and sent to, you know, <laughs> one of the rooms to be quiet in, in the naughty corner. I loved All Saints, it was five years of All Saints and I learned a lot 
and um, they're all still really good mates. I miss Jude McGrath very much, who's very dear to me, and um, she was a bit of a mother figure for me. And um, yeah, Jude played um, Poface on Prisoner as well, so she used to kind of help me um, yeah, just get in there, do your scene, and get the hell out of there because it's pretty full on. <laughs> Yeah, but the same, no social media back then, but yeah, yeah. the same thing. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm from Palm Springs, California. Yeah. And hi, Michelle. Hi, you're the reason I came, actually. Um, and I bring. you a went with question. So in one of the scenes with B, you say that um, there are plenty of straight women that you know have fallen for a woman, and I just want to know if you, Libby, have ever experienced right. that. And please answer the question. I don't know if that's a went with question, but... I appreciate it. There are beautiful people that you meet and there are special people that you meet, whether they're male or female. And I'll leave it at that. But I would say, I wouldn't be dead for queens. <laughs> I have fallen in love, yes. <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> Please do. Uh, next question. Hi, I'm Victoria from New Jersey. Get out. How long did it take you to get here? New Jersey to get here. On a flight, six hours, six uncomfortably. Hours. <laughs> 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 oh. I did it for you. Victoria! <laughs> we all know that the writers write the words that come out of your mouth, but you make the words that come out of your mouth special. Oh. So I want to ask you yep. to say, fuck the labels. <laughs> So thank you for the way you say it. Can you say it? Yeah, so, and I can't remember, what are the other lines before that? Lead me into it. Um, so, because if you're falling for someone, because if you're falling for someone, whether that is a male or a female, and you're worried about it, just enjoy it. Because fuck the labels. It's a great line. Nobody knew how incredible and how much impact that scene was going to have, so we were all taken that it works so well. Hello, I'm Lisa from San Francisco. Um, is there ever been any talk of there being a spin off of what, how the women live after they get out of prison? A show? Like, you get to the psychiatrist, Frankie Dean, the lawyer, and help him. I'm a couple of hands up. I'm not looking at the right one, but I think that's a very good idea. You get all the right to the people who are um, you know, in the writing department. Right. It's been off, you know, Nick and I used to say, wouldn't it be great to see, you know, Bridget and Frankie do their own little spin Yes! Yeah. Something else. Uh, there's so there's so many opportunities, you know, and right. life is is quick. But that's one I'd love to have a look at. Yeah. Yeah. Taking them out of the intensity and putting them into. You yeah. just want some more, yes, some more yes, female, yes. you know, leads and female stories to be right. Without, you know, we just want to see a bit of real life without the extremes and stuff. So. Yes. Thank you. I'll put it to them. <laughs> Right idea. Next question. Hi, I'm Jessica from Buffalo, New York. My sister was the one who pulled up on stage earlier. Oh, I know, I was just thinking. Yeah. I said that, I'm going, why are they coming up? It's an insurance issue. Oh, I can't tell you. I feel like saying that there's trouble. Yeah, my kids can still. So we can finish this question. It's hurting my head, but anyway. But she did tell me that she's praying that one day you can be her hot girl in the hot car. Okay? She, I mean, every girl is probably here, but, because you're beautiful. But um, my question is, I know you tried out for B, but if there was one other character besides B that you could have played, who would it be? Now that you've watched the show and seen how the characters have progressed, which one would you have wanted to be? Uh, the governor, of course. Yeah. The governor. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. 
you gonna Ferguson, go? you'd be the crazy one. No, you wouldn't. I would have loved it. I actually met the governor. I have a thing about it, because when I was a little kid watching all Prisoner, my mum used to say, get away from the television, if you not to watch that. I'm 10 years old, for goodness sake. <laughs> and um, and, I, and my, she ran a boarding house at the time, so I'd sneak into one of the boarders' rooms and watch the whole thing. <laughs> And I knew it all, you know, and I loved it. And, and when Mum passed away and I found myself in the set of, of Wentworth, I, <laughs> I stood there with the iconic, you know, jail gates behind me, and I thought, what are you going to do about it now? <laughs> I'm a bloody show. <laughs> but I actually, you know, wanting to be an actress, you know, in my teens and so forth, I did a read-through for a play with um, Pat King. And she was the governor in prisoner. And I was like, wow. That's so, wow. so I always had this sort of thing. She had this beautiful thing about it. I loved her. Do you know Patsy King? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Hello, it's me. Oh, hello. 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 You know, we announced the Pope of Chicago, so they're getting brain. So maybe yes. we should have yes. a yes. Is Frankie a good kisser? <laughs> she's got the softest lips, right? <laughs> she's young. She's very young. You know, she's got that beautiful skin. She just got so people. Some people are just soft. Yes, yeah, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> and last, what's your favorite charity? <laughs> I'm going for my gorgeous sell after my one of my best mates has a charity, um, the uh, Victorian. Um, benevolent fund for the actors, and I'm, I haven't thought a lot about having a charity, and I should all, but I always, I think I said to a friend of mine, Millie, who asked, where do we want you to, you know, so we can donate our money, and I said, look, let's default to Sal Upton's cause, because I love her, and she's done all the work, and she's the president for it, so I do believe in the, in her cause, let's go. I love that, thank you. And last, we do have, if anyone wants to hop up on, we have probably time for one more if you want, but uh, in case it is not, no pressure. <laughs> this is a good one. I'm Denise from Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> and um, first I want to know how you even got into acting. Was it something you always knew you wanted to do? And what was someone, was there someone that inspired you? And who have, have you ever thought of coming to the States to act here? I've got a Lily accent first. You can help. You can help. Good. I need I do need coaching to, to get the accent. I would love to come and work over here. Um, it would be fantastic. And um, uh, to get into acting, I, I it dates back to high school and um, I did a play, uh, Pig Magnum. And I remember thinking, being so incredibly nervous because I was with the year 11 and 12 girls and they were one of the Eliza Doolittle part, you know, the, the lead role in it. And, and they said, stand up and um, have a go. And I said, oh, no, no, no. And they were all eyeing me off, like, you stand up. 
I went to talk to him and got really scared and nervous and my teacher said, please, and he stand up. And I remember standing up and shaking so much and their tears were coming out of my eyes. I thought, oh my God, I just want to sit back. Anyway, we found out, she gave me the part and I found myself on stage. She seen, saw something in me that I didn't know and I actually discovered there was this, a strength to be found on stage and I just melted into it and I felt really comfortable in that strength of finding my own strength within the character. So that's why I love it. <laughs> well, you bring that strength to um, the character in Wentworth and I just want to say that I really appreciate your dedication in the relationship. Like you just went so far and risked your career and that was really inspiring. <laughs> Thank you. So it looks like we have one more question, but before we get to that, do you want to give us your best American accent? Oh, there might be some some agents or producers in the room. This is Los Angeles, so I actually did audition last week and my girlfriend said maybe that's <laughs> One of the lines was, okay, I've, I've put myself, I can't believe I'm doing that. People like oh, this. Oh my God, if I had to sack, what was the line? I'm so bad, I can't believe I'm doing that. Demir, if I had to sack every cop who sent a dick pic, do you know how many men I'd have left of my staff? <laughs> First of all, that was great, and second of all, that line was unbelievable. <laughs> I need to know what show that was for. Immediately. Yeah. If you did it. It wasn't for Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a river. Yeah. Well, they made the wrong decision, because that was fantastic. I'll let you know what it's announced. Last question of the day for Libby. Uh, hi, Libby. I'm a big fan, but me and my daughter, we're from Buffalo, New York, too. Oh, yeah. So, we left the snow to come here to meet you. So, thank you. Dedication. Oh, you really have. Look at you go. All of you have come from such a long way. And Not it's... worth it! Oh, look, look at you. Oh, thank you so much for your, for your welcoming energy. And to come out here and have you give that to me, I can feel it. And it's so much appreciated. And, um... I, 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 I give it back to you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you, guys. That was awesome. Um, that was perfect. And those questions were unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. I love that like 85 of you came from Buffalo.